<laughs> Hi. This is episode two. We did it, guys. We made it a whole week. Yay. Yay. We're proud of you. Right. We're proud of you guys. Hi. Welcome to Bullet Time. I am your DM, Barton, from Rivet City Limited. Uh, we're going to play some D&D &D today, because that's what we do two, on Tuesdays now at 7 p.m. So, I'm trying to make it here every week. Uh, introductions to my right, we have you, me. elephant boy. Me. I'm the yeah. <laughs> The elephant man. Wow, racist. There's a couple <laughs> elephants in this room. It's a genetic condition, sir. Hey, not okay, a race. race. <laughs> uh, Loxodon Barbarian uh, Guntar. Hello. From the Grohl clans. Smash, smash, smash. Uh, to the right of my right, another Loxodon Paladin uh, from Selesnia Dobrin. Me. To my left, I do that HBK thing. Wow, so scarpa. Yeah. Uh, is it Centaur? <laughs> is it Centaur Arcadia, uh, who is also a sorcerer? And then to the left of my left, Judge Dread Wannabe. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Varys Duval, what elf ranger from the Boros Teaching. We soon will become Judge Dredd. Hey, no you won't. Yes we will. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Not gonna let it happen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> TPK coming in. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, Jesus. Uh. All right. So, uh, when last we left our merry band of misfits, uh, they had spoken to a uh, Madalkin man uh, by the name of Nassius Ben. Nassius is the warden of the Boros prison, uh, Boros Sawtooth prison in the 10th district, uh, who had, well, he personally, hadn't lost this uh, prisoner, but they had lost a prisoner uh, on transport to the Udzek Maximum Security Prison, uh, which ended up uh, requiring our, our dear friend's help. But today, we're gonna pick up there, but we're gonna take a little bit of a backtrack to about I would say about a month ago. It's about a month ago. Uh, you have each been contacted not by your guild leaders, but by another member of your guild. Uh, these are not even the seconds in command of your guilds. These are members of your guilds that are kind of afterthoughts to the rest of rest of your guild. They're not necessarily the misfits, but they are... Unremarkable? Unremarkable, yeah. They don't stand out, but they do a lot for the guild that nobody really sees. Uh, each of your uh, each of your contacts uh, escorts you to this it's an older uh, Boros warehouse. And this warehouse used to be, it used to be an armory, now it's just a stock house where they keep you know, supplies, rations, things like that. Uh, you know, Boros being the larger military force that it is, has you know, storehouses across the city. Special effects. Special effects. <laughs> that was, that Ooh, was, was a crate falling in the storehouse. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love that foley work. I'm walking here. <laughs> so we were in the stock house. Yeah, so uh, this is... We didn't die. You didn't die. Uh, so I didn't sleep. <clears throat> uh, this is actually where a, uh, a group of of like-minded individuals uh, meet uh, called the Dragon's Council. 
The Dragon's Council is trying to do what the guild leaders aren't trying to do. Uh, Niv of the Izzet is kind of staying his way away from the rest of the guilds. He's more concerned with uh, the advancement of technologies. He doesn't have time for the unintellectual uh, rattle that is the rest of Ravnica. Um, Aurelia of the Boros is more concerned with trying to keep the peace through force. She doesn't want uh, the, the society as it is now to crumble, and she thinks that the best way to do that is to kind of bend the rest of the city to that will. Um, I feel that. Yeah. For Berigmos, uh the Grohl leader, he is uh, beyond pleased with well, the, the rabble. I'm sure he's happy. He's incredibly happy, especially waging war against against his favorite enemies, the the Selesnia. Oh. Because that's because the Selesnia are just all they want is to worship their tree and reclaim lands that don't belong to them. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is win, 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 win. <laughs> right? Um, you're each escorted by uh, an advocate. Uh, these are, again, this council, there are 10 of this council, but there are more members, uh, you know, in a kind of a, a ranking hierarchy. Uh, Davian is a paladin from the Boros, uh, is Varys's advocate. Uh, Enka of the Grill Clans, Minotaur Cleric, uh, is the advocate for uh, <clears throat> is the advocate for Guntar. Uh, Ozzy, the Dalkin wizard, is uh, Arcadius, and we have Radavas, a centaur fighter from Celesnia, as uh, the advocate for Dovrin. <laughs> Uncle Rod. <laughs> Funny that you should mention that. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Upon arriving, uh, everybody, roll me initiative. I just want to. I just want a standing order. Suspicious. <laughs> mm, I'll this That's not what I wanted to do. Twenty. Jesus. I got uh, seventeen. It's gonna take me like four games to get Ten. used to this sheet. Ten. Yeah. Uh, it's oh, up by there it is. Got it. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. So. Uh, Arcadia, you arrive first with Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy is uh, this Fidalkin girl. She works for Izzet. She uh, helps you in... She's not necessarily one of your assistants, uh, but you work alongside her in the... Uh, in the labs. In the labs of the... Uh, I believe it's the uh, Laboratories of Gravitational Inversion? Yes. Okay. Uh, Gravitational who's what? Yeah, uh, <laughs> she makes things fly. It's it's very interesting. There's an entire division set for just that. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah, pretty cool. There <laughs> are actually many divisions inside the Izzet uh, that tr deal with different kinds of technology. I don't always forget that the Izzet is those kinds of scientists. Yeah, they <laughs> always forget that. Mad, I tell you, mad. The Izzet is. I agree with that. <laughs> They are electropunk, I would say. They're not. They're not steampunk. A lot of their stuff, Tesla. It's Tesla punk. Yeah. There's a lot <laughs> of like. I mean, if you look at any of the MTG art for for, is it? It's. it's I, yeah, I suppose. There's a lot of Tesla coils. Yeah. A lot of. I suppose. Yeah. You know, a lot of that 18th or 19th century, uh, 
you know, metal paneled rivets, big circular portals with arcing electricity coming off of them. But uh, Ozzy, uh, kind of her pet project isn't so much making individuals fly. She is more of more into like the optimization of airships. So there's these large airships that kind of traverse back and forth over Ravnica. Uh, they're kind of the main form of transportation that aren't, uh, that isn't the normal walking everywhere. Because walking anywhere in Ravnica takes a lot. Takes a lot. Especially if you're going anywhere. <laughs> Because, I mean, entire guild halls can take up spans of city that are miles square. You're right there, buddy? Burpee. Yeah. Go for the non carbonation next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Special effects. Special effects. <laughs> uh, okay. So. Ozzy is is your uh, advocate. Is your advocate, and she kind of approaches you. She's kind of quiet. Um, Arcadia, can I talk to you? Sure. What's up? Um. So. And she kind of looks around, trying to make sure that none of the none of your goblins are are kind of hanging around, because <laughs> goblins talk and. Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> uh, so, there's this thing I wanted to talk to you about. Um, do you know anything about um, what Rall or Niv think about the whole war in the city? Well, from the gossip I'm hearing, a whole lot of don't give a well goblin can't I shouldn't say that word. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> um but I mean, all this fighting is kind of stupid, isn't it? it takes away from the flight and the fun. Okay. Um so there's this group of people I want you to meet. It's um, gonna be. You can't tell anybody about this. Not even. I mean, Sparky. No, no, Sparky can't know. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let Sparky know because he might tell. I don't know. He might tell some other goblin. Some other goblin might talk to. Uh, uh, somebody, and all of a sudden that gets back to Krenko, and we can't. Krenko can't know about this. Okay, no, Sparky's not gonna know. Sparky can't know. Okay, no, tell Sparky. When is this? Because if Sparky can't know, I have to make something up to tell Sparky when I'm gone. Just, it'll be late. Just, you'll know. Okay. And she kind of nods and goes back to what she was doing. Um, back in uh, the, uh, let's go to the Selesnia, so uh, Delburn, what's, what's your day kind of like? Usually? Usually, for, for a paladin. Go into my tree, lay in hands, <laughs> trees that the Izzets destroyed. <laughs> you know, tree stuff. <laughs> trees that the Izzets have accidentally burned down. Cleaning up oh. messes. It was Pray. only one small grove. <laughs> uh, but seriously, Dover and uh, pretty trying to get in touch with some of their spirituality. Um, spending a lot of time kind of by himself. Okay. Um, let me just... I mean, obviously checks in for, like, the Selesnian meetings. 
but. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, now, uh, what was his reason for becoming a paladin? It's pretty personal, but he he's kind of trying to turn his life around. He had a bit of a bumpy past. Okay. To be, I'm trying to be intentionally vague about this. No, that, that's totally fine. That is absolutely fine. I just need to know what his, what kind of his mindset is, what what kind of his day is like. Um, yeah, his mindset's pretty, like he's, he, he went down this path of wanting glory and doing bad things to people that didn't deserve it. Okay. And now he's trying to atone for this initiate himself as someone that is kind of more morally admirable. Sure. So he's, def- so he's definitely trying to, to turn himself around. Yes. Good. So well, that's the only reason the Silesnians were like, okay, this is acceptable. Like, <laughs> yeah. At the moment, they're, they're, he's still trying to win them over because they're like, you get one chance. Okay. Yeah. And that's why they've assigned Radovas to you. Uh, Radovas is one of Selesnia's, uh not so much one of their guards or, or sentries, but he's a little bit higher up. He's uh, a fighter by class, um, arcane archer. Uh, so he's more of a, um, you know, ranged, uh, but he's you know, this centaur stands about your height. Um, and he approaches you. Uh, Dobra. Uh, how, are, how are things? I think they're going very well. I'm getting up every morning, doing my standard readings of the book, learn all my my healing abilities, sharpening not so much my fighting, I kind of had that covered, but As is spending a lot of time outside. Good. Um, being with nature is one of the things that uh, will help you with your rehabilitation. That is what I work my hardest to achieve. Good. I would hope so. Um, and I trust all of the leaders of the Selesnian Guild to lead us to getting everybody on the same page and making sure that our natural beauty of our world is not compromised. That is one of the things I came here for. Um, you're no doubt aware of our our fight with with the Grohl and the Simic. Of course, yes. What have you heard of anything else with Rakdos or the Azorius? Um, they are just very prideful and out to change the world in unnatural ways. Um, I do not agree with how they're doing things. It seems very morally reprehensible. Right. What if I told you that the tree doesn't wish for there to be peace? Sounds like this. Did you say what now? <laughs> just rocked his world, man. Right, right. <laughs> world view just. What? This is beginning to sound like the alternate version of Ocarina of Time. <laughs> I would wonder what, what, where did you hear this? What, did, whatever could you be talking about? There is not so much word from the tree, but those who higher than me who serve the tree would rather see two guilds wiped out than live in harmony with them. 
that is very worrisome? It is. So, I would ask if you being my charge, this is something that I would not normally ask of anyone else. But your presence has been requested. Okay. I'll need you to meet me along with some others um, back in the regular parts of the city, not so much in our in our grove. Well, that will set my studies a little bit farther back, but in the name of cohabitation with the other guilds and ensuring that there is some amount of peace and cooperation, I could I could do that. Um, I am at your dispense. Excellent. Thank you, Dolan. I will be along to collect you for our purpose. And he kind of trots, trots off, um, leaving you <laughs> back to whatever activity. Yeah, we need, we need some Monty Python uh, uh, coconuts. coconuts, especially for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in the budget? What a strange encounter. <laughs> uh, so, uh, with that, it, uh, so the two of you already know what's going on. Um, Varus. You know. <laughs> <laughs> what is, I suppose the same question, what is Davian's day like? Varus's or what is Varus's day like? Yeah, Davian. Davian is coming soon, but what is, what is Varus's day like? Varus just does normal patrols. That's what his day consists of. He gets up, bathes, and then does his job, patrolling the streets. Okay. Just a regular old beat cap. Just a beat cap. Just trying to protect the streets. Uh, does he have a, a specific um, district that he is assigned to? Yes. Roll a d10 for me. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's this will be pretty easy. Yeah, just roll a d10. Okay. That'll tell me what district you're in. Four. Fourth district. Fourth district. Good to know. Fourth district's good. It's a quiet district. Damn it. Um, I wanted there to be action. I didn't want the, I wanted this to be in, I wanted this to be fourth precinct, not third precinct. Well look, look, look. Fourth district. It's it's quiet. It's not it's not super super loud. It's, you know, with essentially a rookie cop. <laughs> well, am I with the rookie, or am I the rookie? You're the rookie. Oh, good, good. Remember, your your characters are only level one. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're gonna yeah. forget that he is a young guy too. Yeah, yeah. Remember. Varys is still very much young. Um, so he is is there. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, this, this is, is an a, experiment. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> yep. This is a very much a, a is it uh, is it controlled area. Um, actually, this is uh, the uh, fourth precinct, fourth district, is actually uh, the home of the uh, uh, gravitational inversion laboratories of the Is It. Uh, so you get to see airships coming and leaving all day. Uh, you see dragonauts, which are. Uh, are they we? They they are we dragonauts uh, because they are they're they're. They're oh, sorry. They're I know, I know. I couldn't help it. Uh, I'm sorry. Have I had to give her a ticket for single seat flying yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you haven't yet. Um, because you're, I mean, you're a ground based cop. Uh, you, you're, you're usually based out of Sun Home, which is actually the, the Boros headquarters is Sun Home. Uh, but your, your direct, uh, your direct superior, um, Davian, uh, he's like, he's your 
he's your partner, hangs around with you all day long. You know, do you think like Bright and uh, you know Will Smith and the Orc? This is you and this human. You're you're the Orc in this situation, but you're you're ten thousand times prettier. The prettiest Orc. The prettiest Orc. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are elves not pretty Orcs? Uh, I'm not going to answer that question because I don't want to tell you about where I've been. <laughs> uh, it's around it's around lunchtime. Uh, you guys kind of stop to to get some to get some food. Donuts. Uh, <laughs> donuts. I mean. The rat making donuts. We would. Uh, there, it's actually a Rakdos cart, and they're serving elephant ears. <laughs> All right, I'm not there. <laughs> you, you never know. I'm not there. You'll, you'll never know. It's, it's the there. pastry elephant ears, not real elephant ears. I'm not there. <laughs> uh, and Davian just kind of comes over. He's like, so, how are you liking it so far? It's been it's been good. It's been good to me. The yeah, the duties aren't too bad. Going around meeting with other people, it's it's a nice time. It's nice to interact with people. Make sure everything's good. Good, good. Um, that's good to hear. Uh, I know Aurelia has been kind of hard on the rest of the rest of the garrison. Um, she seems to think that. More, more force is, is going to solve everything. Whatever they think is best to continue to keep order and the safety for everyone. I mean, but, I mean, you're, you're still green. I mean, why, can't imagine a guy like you would, would immediately accept that, that more force is needed. I mean, you saw what, what's been happening the last couple of years. Who knows? Who knows what's really needed out there to help us all? If they believe this is what it is, what, what, what am I to say no to? But we're doing the Azorius' job. The Azorius should be out here policing the streets, not us. I suppose you're correct. Okay, and I mean, that seems to be what, um, what Tajik thinks too. Does he know? I mean, he is really a second, but he does have a mind of his own. Honestly, I trust him more than some angel. Why is that? Humanity. I'm totally screwed this up for yours. No, no. Okay. No, this is good. I like this. Humanity. He's not looking at this from a from a perch. I suppose he does kind of see eye to eye with the rest of us instead of her. Yeah. I mean. He's asked me to um, find someone. And he thinks he knows his whereabouts. So, do you know where this stock house is? And he pulls out kind of this address on a, on a card and hands it to you. He goes, you're, you're familiar with this address, right? I am. I've never been truly to there, but I do know of its whereabouts. Okay. Um, after after we're done with our rounds today, uh, I've got some other things to do, but come around nightfall, um, I need you to show up there. And what's this for? It's me kind of 
things. Um, it's for Tajik. All right, I suppose I can, I can do this. Good. Uh, anyway, eat up. Um, got a long rest of our day. <laughs> I hear that we have to go check in on something with the Izzet soon. Hope it's not that damn flying person again. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them around here, brother. There's a lot of them. I hope it's not that singular one. <laughs> and then Fran kind of shifts and we end up in the rubble belt. And it's I would say mid mid to late afternoon. Okay. Um, I'm guessing that uh, Guntar's training kind of takes up yeah, the, the, the better the better part of his morning. Either that or a hunt. Better part of his morning in the mm -hmm. early afternoon. Yeah. Um, there really isn't a hunt today, okay. but uh, you've been uh, pulled aside by one of the um, one of the clerics uh, of of the clan, which is odd that Grohl would even have clerics, but it's, we practice the old ways. They, they do they do practice the old ways and um, uh, Enka uh, is this uh, she's a minotaur kind of wise beyond her years uh, one of the elders of of the clan and she kind of motions next to her for for you to, to sit. Guntar, how long have you, how long have you been with us? Uh, it's, uh, it's damn near 50 years now. And in those 50 years, have, what have you, what have you learned? Well, our people are encroached, look this savage, but times are good for us, fights are happening. I don't know if I'm any closer to knowing what the end boar wants for me, but, I mean, this chaos is kind of good for us, yeah? To a, to a point. Orberignos seems to think that methodically eradicating each of the clans will bring about the, the old end. Uh, one at a time seems folly to me. But it seems that the only way he can do that is to to team himself with another rival clan in the air or rival rival guild. Mm -hmm. Which which one of our rivals? Civic. The the abominations? Yeah. The grotesque? Yes, I, I know. I know. The power, they search through power for some mutations and adjustments instead of the searching through a fight and, and, and through what's inside of us already. And that is, that is part of what I think is why I need you, young one. Uh, anything? Yes. Are you familiar with the old tale of the dragon's mace? I've uh, I've heard the story around the fire. Yeah. When I was little, uh, there were four of them, and they came from some far off land. One of them happened to sow peace between the ten guilds. But now, last few years, he goes away. I do not know where he has gone. 
do you need of me? What I need from you is to find this man or his friends or find a way to do what they did. No easy task. No. I know how much you don't like the city. No. But no. going to the city would be good for you. It's been, I think, 22 years since I last stepped out of the rebel belt. Might be good. It would be good. I need you to come with me tonight to the city. And we'll go and we'll talk to like-minded people. Okay. Do I need to bring and I grab my axe? It shouldn't be necessary. But if the Boros show up, if the Azorius show up, trunk noises. <laughs> just, just low trumpeting. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> she kind of she she gives you a nod. If they happen to show up, we made it. Right. We'll keep it on my back. But <laughs> go. Be about the way. God. <laughs> I'll call upon you later. And you all go about your days until about the time that everything starts to come together. And in this 10th district uh, warehouse, there is many ways in. Uh, there's not so many people milling about. Um, curfew hasn't quite set in yet. Um, as you remember, uh, the Boros have, have kind of taken a, taken over uh, the, the law keeping from the Azorius. Yeah, the, uh, the Boros are now the law. Uh, luckily enough for, for uh, you, Varys, uh, you and Davian are able to get in, no problem. Yeah. Uh, and as you enter, uh, there's a lot of people already there. Uh, there is also uh, a centaur uh, wearing <laughs> is it robes, which is kind of odd. Um, but you're very familiar with with the is it mode of dress uh, because you spend all your time in the fourth. Yes. Uh, and next to her is a shorter uh, Vidalcan girl. Uh, and. <laughs> <laughs> like an elf that you would walk into a room with a Vidal King and a centaur. <laughs> hey, it's a warehouse. You could fit a giant in here if you wanted to. And well, really, it's, nice. it's a Boros warehouse? Who do you think is moving all those boxes? Mm -hmm. They don't have seed worms doing that. You're the one, you're, <laughs> that's the selection. <laughs> uh, and their names are Fred and Tay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you arrive, um, but that's, that's the most out of place to you, is that there's this blue person. <laughs> I'm sorry. And a half-horse person. <laughs> Granted, you've seen half-horse people, because, I mean, that's... They're around. They're, they're around. around. Uh, it's just weird to see them in that context. There are other centaurs here, but seeing one in the in the reds and blues of is it is odd. Uh, shortly after uh, uh, you guys arrive, uh, Dobrin and uh, and Radabas, uh, you guys arrive through a through another entrance. Um, the place is still slowly filling. Um, there's members from all the other guilds. But the centaur stops and sees 
this female centaur, dressed in blue and red, and approaches. Daughter. Oh. Hi! Surprising you here! <laughs> that took a turn I did not expect. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Radovas looks at you with kind of this not so much disproving, but like this kind of face of. Don't, don't tell me Rawl talked you into this. I didn't talk to Rawl. Have you met Ozzy? She's a nice gal. She thought it would be a fun time. <laughs> I think I'd love it if you actually did just pick her up. I did. I was like, this is Ozzy. <laughs> and, 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 and Ozzy just kind of like has like this sheepish wave at this centaur who is... I'm near three feet taller than her. <laughs> Just these little patterns you get off of in the back going. <laughs> <laughs> I I trust that your studies are are going well. Well I haven't crashed yet. Above ten feet. <laughs> that's that's good. Um you, your mother still worries about you. I still send her those letters. I know, but she is still not um, not sure that uh, this is the correct path for you. Well, if it fails, I can always come home. Mom knows that. Dobrin is suddenly very... <laughs> Even more confused than he was when he left. <laughs> <laughs> These are the people you agreed with. Is this a... Am I taking care of younger people just to teach them in like a really nice like classroom fashion? Or is there something more hands-on we need to do? And are these the people that I'm going to do hands-on? Just kind of all fighting. Am I, am I uh, Radovas just kind of raises a hand and just like It's the city. There's all kinds of immoral things happening. There's no nature. Am I taking Dobrin, these? Dobrin. Calm. Stop being one with nature. This babe's mother doesn't even know she's here. And Mama supposed to know I was here. And honestly, I don't think I was supposed to know she was here either. <laughs> but, desperate times. You know what I've told you. That the tree doesn't trust that we can live in harmony until the rest of everything is gone. So, we're going to try a different approach. My daughter, apparently, nice to make your acquaintance, is going to be one of those that is part of this undertaking, as are you. Okay, I see, P potentially, is it a tire? Okay. okay. Yeah, from is it? Okay, all right. Celestian. You can tell, yes, yeah, dad. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, at that point, there is a kind of a large boom. Yeah, uh, like, not so much a door being kicked open, but a door being kicked open. <laughs> <laughs> As the delegation from the Grohl clan shows up. And... Oh damn! Leading them is not is is not Enka and and uh, and Guntar. Uh, there are many clans in the Grohl 
there are lizard folk. Slits? Yep, there are lizard folk, there are cyclopses, giants, other centaurs, uh, very few loxodons, uh, minotaurs, humans, all Goblins. sorts yeah. uh, of just kind of misfit people. Um, but in with the mix is Enka and, and Guntar. Uh, and the Grull are very boisterous in their, in their uh, bringing, just because they are, they are here, they are prideful. We, were, we will be the ones that bring, uh, bring Ravnica back to, back to center. The end rate is still coming. Just to wait. Uh, and as as they are kind of being rowdy and everything, uh, the Rakdos delegation starts getting a little rowdy, and that sets off the Azorius delegation, and that sets off the Orzans, and all of these other guilds are just shouting at each other and getting angry. What's on and dad? <laughs> <laughs> and that's when, and that's when there is another loud boom. Thaumaturgy. Very much a thaumaturgy spell. Um, and I that's feel, when I feel like order is about to be uh, placed. <laughs> order is restored as the ten show up. I, I drop the Ragdos guy I'm holding. <laughs> I probably draw back, I probably like undraw my bow. <laughs> yeah, and that's where we're going to cut for our break. We will be right back with part two of episode two of Bullet Time. Stick around. Yeah. <laughs> that is a profound conversation. We just it is. It really is. Ooh, who really oh, thought that we'd be able to get to that area? I'm right? I'm well, good. and and who would have thought we'd have figured out the, the theory of general relativity, relativity in such a short amount of time? What, 15 minutes? <laughs> God, and we weren't even writing any of it down. Damn it. Oh, I did. Oh, good, lost, good, good. Lost, good. To the, lost to the ether. This is not the greatest song in the world. This is just a tribute. <laughs> Welcome uh, back. Uh, this is bullet time. Uh, I am your DM, uh, Barton, and we're playing some D and D in the world of Ravnica. Uh, where we left off before the break, our heroes were brought with their advocates uh, from each of the guilds to meet the ten, who are uh, the leaders of the Dragon's Council of Ravnica. Uh, the Dragon's Council is this underground uh, group that is in charge of making sure not really, they're not really in charge, they're taking charge of, of making sure that peace is restored to Ravnica. Uh, and just before break, uh, there was a lot of rabble. Uh, family members were were reunited, and and uh, uh, elephants were confused. Very. <laughs> um, and uh, elf when leadership was it? leadership was questioned. Uh, and an elf went about doing his job. And and there's just a cop doing his. Just thinking. I'm just doing my job, man. Just yeah. doing my job. Following the policies as they're written out. My to job. Me. <laughs> Eating elephant deer donuts. <laughs> <laughs> For the band. For the band. For the band. <laughs> uh, so, uh, as as there's this loud thumping, um, the. Uh, there's almost something sort of like a thunderclap, or as uh, as Arcadia would would understand it, a um, a containment unit shattering. 
Oh. Is, is, what it, is what it sounds like. Uh, it's rather loud, kind of a shattering noise. Um, it is not the spell shatter, thankfully. Uh, but it, it's, a, it's loud enough so that the rattle kind of quiets down. And there are members uh, now from each guild. Uh, most notably of which, uh, most notably of whom, uh, Varys, you recognize instantly. Yes, Tagic. I know who it is. Tajik. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Tajik is Aurelius II. He is the... That's right, um, I definitely knew that. <laughs> hey, hey, this is D&D. I tell you who you know. Who you should know. Yes, I know who that is. How do you spell that? T A J I C. Okay. Blade of the Legion. Blade of the Legion. The Flame Fist. Can I take a perception roll as they come in to see if I pick up any additional information? Uh, yeah, what are, you, what are you trying to perceive? Um, I'm trying to perceive the order by which they walk and to see if there's kind of like a power setting already in the pen and if I can establish that by how they enter the Sure, yeah. That is a big old four. <laughs> uh, so you see that there's ten of them? Mm -hmm. You don't <laughs> discern any kind of order between, hey. between them? Hey, hey Raptor's guy, there's two. <laughs> well, no, there's, there's one from each guild. Hey, each, each guild is represented, including the Demir. Ooh. Ooh. Can I roll a perception to just take a look around the room and kind of gather any information about who is here? Sure. Um, and what kind of what kind of persons of note are you are you kind of on the lookout for? <coughs> uh, mostly those of the girl and who are here, and to see what any uh, what other kind of uh, ruckus might ensue. Sure. Uh, sure. Which one, uh, I'm rolling D twenty. Uh, yeah, you're going to roll a d20, add your perception modifier. Uh, which, I can just pull that up and you just tell me what your roll is. Uh, nine. You rolled a nine? Yeah. For a whopping total of... That's what? Uh, Twelve. Cool. Which actually isn't bad. Um, you do recognize some of the more troublesome clans. Uh, you're just thankful that you're not assigned to the roll belt. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Game uh, being with the scientist. <laughs> uh, you're, yeah, you're, they usually, for the rebel belts, assign the giants and the goliaths and the minotaurs because they're the ones who are best equipped to deal with that sort of rattle. Why am I happy I'm not the rookie that I got thrown into the freaking deep end? <laughs> Well, here's the good thing. <laughs> Being, you got put with Davian, and Davian's been part of the Legion for, for quite a time, uh, before even martial law was, was declared. Is he my friend? He is your friend. He's my friend. He, he looks, I mean, <laughs> it's very much, he treats you like a little brother. Aw. Not, not, not in the sense <laughs> that he, he beats the crap out of you and calls you a nerd. But he very much is your tutor. And my little sister talking to me. I don't know about it. <laughs> See, I, I, I can't relate to that because my brother is also just as big a nerd as me, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, and, and uh, Davian is, he is very by the book, but he doesn't necessarily agree with Aurelia's. He is very much on the side. So of he's the true ju Judge Dredd, and I'm just Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, okay. Let the record show. Let the record show that I'm going to pretend I know what you're talking about. Uh, anybody else want to do anything before things kick off? Do I recognize any other family here? <laughs> um, <laughs> that is a valid question. <laughs> there are other centaur here, but as... Um, we have friends. We we have mutual friends that would say, um, "Yeah, but not everybody who looks like us is related to us." Well, Dad showed out of the woodwork. There are no other relatives. <laughs> uh, Good. Uh, Radavas just showed up. Uh, 
You didn't know he was going to show up. He didn't know you were going to show up. It's just pure happenstance. <laughs> it's just That's why I said, anybody else I know here? Uh, outside of Ozzy, no. Okay. There is nobody else here that you really know. Aside from maybe your mem maybe your is it member of ten. Um, Dover, is there anything you would like to do before things happen? Um, yeah, just a general spot check. Is there anything like we're in the middle of the city? Do I, do I recognize kind of where we are? So right now you are, are in nature. Yeah, so you are definitely not in nature. Uh, <laughs> you are in the heart of the city now. <laughs> you are in the tenth district, uh, but more towards the outskirts of the tenth district. Okay. Uh, this is a, it's a Boros uh, storehouse, so lots of crates of weaponry and um, It seems armed, like you know, everyone else around is just as, confused. maybe not as confused, but... I mean, only, I'm probably not confused. The only people that are really in their element would be the Boros, just uh, because this is their own home turf. <laughs> okay, and nothing looks particularly suspicious. This just looks like they got a bunch of ragtag people, and this will be fun. Right, yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can also see that uh, some of these groupings of, of the delegations have started to mix, uh, and now there are uh, teams of, of these guild members. Okay. Not, uh, some with advocates, some without. Uh, and I'm noticing some kind of pattern of the different people being teamed up together where they're not aligned in any kind of specific way. Right, so... It seems intentionally varied. Yeah, one group you see there is a, uh, there's a Rakdos Bard paired with a uh, Golgari Druid along with uh, an Azoriot Warlock and Norzog vampire, you think? Okay. <laughs> this is a very interesting pairing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is just, there's definitely something going on. Yeah. Uh, there's another team that is a, um, oh, what are they? They are uh, a, there's a Vidalkin uh, from Is It, uh, not Ozzy, but another. <laughs> Uh, this is this is another Vidalkin from another district. Uh, he is he is teamed up with a um, with a uh, Simic, what looks like an elf, but he's and it looks like he's wearing a cape. It's not a cape. It's not a cape. No, no. Uh, he has kind of these spalders on his shoulders that are look very much like crab chitin. Mm. And from underneath those, but above his arms, are another set of prehensile crab claws, like lobster claws. Crab, beady bug. Crab, <laughs> bug. Uh, So there's him, uh, and they've got, uh, there's another Boros with them. Uh, you, you can tell that they're ranked a little higher than you are. Um, another paladin like Devin. But that's only a three-man team. So that's a smaller team. But there's all over this warehouse are these teams. And then there's these pairings of these people who are more or less looking confused around like you are now with their advocates from their specific clans or specific, yeah. specific guilds. And the ten have just walked in. And the, and the ten have showed up now. And do we recognize them as anything? So there's ten of them. Yeah, there is, ten. <laughs> uh, there is one from each guild. Uh, and we already know that one of them is Tajik. And one of them you already know is Tajik. Uh, at least you know 
as Kashuk. Uh, I would assume that those of you that live inside the city, uh, Arcadia, you would know uh, what Tajik looks like just from... He told me off one time on an airship. <laughs> Very possible. Go on! <laughs> uh, but as you look, there's, there's actually only nine. Uh-oh. <laughs> and... So uh, your perception was wrong. Enka puts a hand on your shoulder and says, I need you to stay here. And she goes to join the ten. Oh, 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 oh spicy! Okay, okay. Anka. 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 Minotaur. She's a Minotaur cleric. She probably has a lot of uh, Chip stuff. Frick, like, kind of like, I don't want to say think apocalypto in jewelry, but <laughs> think apocalypto. In jewelry. Okay. Very close. Uh, okay. If Rakdos is Renaissance, like very much black and red Harlequin, mm -hmm. she is very much, she. I mean, she's a Minotaur, but a voodoo priestess. Yeah. Like, that's totally her shtick, is oh. like, the skulls and snakes and shit like that. Out of character? That sounds fucking terrifying. That's awesome. <laughs> the <laughs> character that really, here's the thing, the gruel are the scariest thing above land. It's when you go to the Undercity that you see the really fucked up shit. I need to get back into the war. Yeah, you do. <laughs> or, you know, crack open your Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica. I don't have the book! Uh, <laughs> I just need to play more. Uh, Boros? Boros, yes. Do I know any of these? Is Dark any of the other ones? Uh, I wanted to get a list of them now. Right, right. You kind of want to know. Uh, yeah. Um, Arcadia. You have seen this goblin roaming around, uh, roaming around the various uh, laboratories of of Is it before? He rarely comes to comes to gravitational. Uh, most of his time is spent in uh, transmutation and um, pyromancy. Why does that sound correct for a goblin? Well, here's the thing about goblins. Goblins are a native race to Ravnica, but they're not so much the evil race that everybody sees them as on other planes of existence. So the Saiyans, got it. Well, <laughs> they're still a little loopy, um, very monosyllabic, but they can be incredibly ingenious. They can figure out things. They have a very complex mind, but because of that, it kind of stunts their personal ability. Their savant. Yeah. Um, I mean, it really, think about it, Warhammer, orcs, right goes fast. Except with the goblins of Ravnica, fire hot! Why my Fire hot goes bloody boom. <laughs> Sparky the goblin. Uh, oh, so that's how he got his name. <laughs> uh, this goblin stands about about three foot, three five. Uh, he's got this jet black hair pulled back into a top knot. Uh, big sharp teeth, pointy ears. Green skin. He's a goblin. Uh, what's weird about him is he's slight. He's off. Like you, you know by looking at him, he's off. Like this dude belongs somewhere else, not with the is it. He's got two war hammers strapped to his back. Like he looks like he's ready to go fight next next to Tajik for the Boros. He's also got a flamethrower. That's pretty easy. Like, slung under his arm. Lost me at the Warhammer, got me back with the, the fire. This is a, uh, it's a, what is it calls a pyro converter. Mm. Converter or converter? Converger. Okay. Pyro converger. I just wanted to make sure I heard your face. Um, there are very few in Is It who, who carry these things around, openly carry these things around. 
because they're so volatile. I'm not allowed to play with them anymore. Um, you know, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, Miss Arcadia, Yes. Uh, upon seeing this goblin yes. standing in the ranks, uh, I would like you to give me a Give me an insight check. Insight? Yes, please. Nine. Nine? Yeah. Is that with your, with your plus? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not hard to... You, you, you do get this one. <laughs> um, this is Gidlek. Uh, Gidlek is a goblin. Very interesting goblin. Um, What's that kind of name? He sounds interesting. Oh yeah, Gimlek is is very very interesting. Uh, Gim or Gin? Gin, G I N, L E K. Um, Do I have to arrest him? Uh, you hopefully won't have to arrest him because he's he's mean. <laughs> he is mean. Not as mean as some of the un or some of the guiltless goblins, but he's mean. Uh, so we covered three of your four. Uh, Dobrin, your, your, uh, representative, uh, is, is another human, like Tajik. Uh, very stoic, uh, and actually, she is, uh, she's not, she looks very elf-like, she has very elven features, but that's mainly due to being tied to Selesnia, being tied to Mat Selesnia, the world tree. Uh, she is one of the, one of the druids of the, of the conclave. Uh, and she almost kind of, even though it's very dark, she almost kind of glows in this, in this kind of dark warehouse environment. And then we have members of Demir, we have members of, uh, members of the Rakdos. Uh, the Rakdos member in particular is very uh, ringmasterly, you know tailed coat, top hat, uh, but wearing a, a masquerade mask. Uh, and then we have uh, the Azorius, who are very stately. Um, the Orzov, who are dead looking. <laughs> but that's not new. <laughs> they always look dead. Slightly reheated. Yeah, gently reheated, but still cold in the center. It's not a phase, Mom. It's not a phase, Mom. It's a way of life. <laughs> Let, let's not talk about food, because I'm not <laughs> Hey, I told you to eat before you got I here. did eat. <laughs> I yeah, did. I'm, uh, I'm just hungry again. Let's see, am I missing anymore? Kimura. Wait, who was Gimlek? The is it one? Gimlek is is it. Okay. Yes. We've gone over Solarian, Orzov, Uh, I... Is there some? Out later. You can find out later, yes. All right. Um, her name will come up. Cool. Hmm? Well, at least I, I got that much. All right. Uh, Doug was just trying to piece yeah. together what's, what he was told. Is it very grandiose? Simic and the Golgari are the two you didn't mention. Right. Uh, for the Golgari, there is hmm. a... Um, what would be described as a... Medusa. Um, this is not Varaska, their guild leader, mm -hmm. but possibly one of her seconds, maybe one of the lower, lesser, uh, lesser Medusas. Um, and Medusas are very different uh, in the world of, of, in the planes of, of magic. Uh, they're not so much like the in the Forgotten Realms where uh, they stare at you wrong and you just turn to stone. Um, 
the uh, the planar, I suppose the planescape mm -hmm. or plane shifting uh, Medusas actually can turn that on and off as they wish. They like snap your stone, snap your knife. Yeah, it, it's weird. It's pretty um, simple. Yeah, Thanos, but it's stone. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You turn to stone, you don't turn into sand. Um, oh. Yeah. Like 90 days, no big deal. And there's something weird about the Simic. Uh, he is very much, he's very tall. You're not sure what race he was originally, but like the Simic that you saw earlier with the crab claws, his cloak seems to be part of him, but it seems to be made out of like a shark skin, Ooh. or maybe manta. Uh, his eyes are black like a great white, and he has very sharp needle-like teeth. Is he a shark man? I mean, he could be a shark man now. He wasn't a shark man, but he's a shark man now. Have you Simic? Yeah. <laughs> Told you. Simic's weird, dude. I know Simic is weird. <laughs> uh, but these are the ten. Uh, not all of them, you know their names, uh, but those are them. Uh, and Tajik kind of is at the center with the other nine on his flank, five on one side, four on the other. Where in the power structure is Enka put? Uh, Enka is is closer on the shorter side. Okay. Um, possibly, uh, uh, most likely uh, the third on, on his, on the shorter side. Uh, Ginlek <laughs> is, uh, fourth on the long side. <laughs> it's uh, just because he's a little rambunctious. He's sat next to the next to the Rakdos. <laughs> yeah, he's he sat next to the Rakdos ringmaster. <laughs> That's alright. Somebody's being kept in line. <laughs> the Rakdos are another one of the clans that deal with the goblins themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's very much the fat, very much uh, a a measure to keep keep him in line. Uh, and then Tajik kind of holds his hand up, not so much giving the the, the Boros uh, fist, but open palm facing the rest of the rest of those gathered to say, uh, you know, to have them. Calm. Just go, members. This is a trying time for Ravnica. Jace Bellerin has not been seen. It's been years since we've seen him. He was once known as the Living Guild Pact. And we have reason to believe that another guild pact could be formed. Some of you have helped the Dragon's Council before. And you've been brought to this place many a time. And when he said this place, it's not this physical place, but the gathering as a whole. The embodiment. The embodiment of the council. He uh, says, you've, brought, you've been brought to this place before when Ravnica needed you most. And I'm here to ask you again to do the same. Those of you who have never been here before, we welcome you. You have been chosen by your advocate to help us in this endeavor. You've been seen through your works 
that this undertaking will be taken with the reverence that we would expect. Your ideals are new. Ideas fresh. And the ten of us would not ask you if you did not already think the same. And he kind of motions to the front uh, for the the advocates to bring their uh, their charges forward. Enka looks at you and kind of waves you forward as well. Everybody else does the same, I take it. Uh, for you, it's kind of weird because uh, Ozzy kind of has her hand on your flank and is like, okay, you know, like, like how you would normally like lead a horse. She is like trying to lead you. Are you kicking in the Well, no, no, it, it's, it's at her, like her, her, her lower shoulder. I'm just thinking of her getting mounted into it like a, uh, down a horse. Down here, down here. Why isn't Ozzy just riding her? Because I'm Ozzy isn't like that. Oh, like, that'd Ozzy, be rude. That would be rude of Ozzy to you do that. You can't just mount. You can't just me. mount a centaur. You can't just do that. It's called consent. <laughs> And he's dead. We're not <laughs> savages. Player death, not character oh, death. I want to point that out. Uh, I'm sorry. So as you all are brought to the front, Tajik kind of nods. Uh, and uh, Enka actually comes out of the line to stand next to you. Uh, along with uh, the other three of you, your advocates, and then the other advocates from the other... Uh, other not, er, other three guilds. And Tajik looks over the ten of you and, and nods. This is a this is a good day. It has been long since we have added more to our ranks and we need that now more than ever. You'll be given assignments and you will be working in teams. Those teams have yet to be determined. But in time, you will learn to know your teammates and forge those bonds between your guilds, strengthening each other, strengthening the peace that we want in Ravnica, so that maybe we can forge a new pact. Is there any questions? Tajik kind of, like, he, he knows who you are, Varus. And he just kind of, Brother Varus. Tajik, my only question is, what are we doing here? Like, what is the purpose of this? And why have I been brought here? As Davian has no doubt told you, the leadership that we pledge to does not see that the fighting will not stop unless something is done. More applied force is not going to fix what's already been done. Just shatter it further. I see. Does that answer suffice, brother? My other question of why was I chosen? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean what's I over mean, Gavin, like? I, I mean, I kind of roll my eyes. But it's, it's a rookie <laughs> cop here. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. And he he gets that. He, he well, knows. sorry, I just, I just I just started going on the beat. <laughs> And that's why we need you. You see, your partner Davian and 
dabbing this like right here. Uh, <laughs> he has seen that you are worthy of this charge. He knows that you are single-minded in your allegiance to a cause. And by being in that, you would see through once your eyes are open to what we are trying to do here. All right, then. Will we be fighting others, or will we... I would hope not, but it does come to that on, a, on occasion. There are those in the guilds that do not see eye to eye with our ideals. There are those that, as your advocate has probably told you, would rather see Ravnica raised in order to restore peace. Well, we've been and mostly employing nonviolent means to restore this peace. I would prefer it so. Okay. Any kind of turns slightly to to Guntar? He just looks at him. You. So full of pride. Pity. What am I supposed to respect? And kind of gives you an elbow in the back. <laughs> and then, she, like, she gives you the elbow in the back, but at the same time, like, her staff hits you in the back of the leg, kind of, like, fixing your posture. Like, straight me out. Yeah, like, straightens you out. Like, yeah. like, you have never, like, been one to, to be kind of in that. Yeah. Uh, and Tadric just looks at you. You lack discipline. This will teach you. Hard words from a floor of us. But my elder requested I'm here for a reason. I beseech their hurts at you. And Tajik just kind of nods at Enka, and she kind of gives this kind of low, respectful, uh, as you will, to Tajik. <laughs> Help the <honey> go. <laughs> uh, anyone else? Uh, why, why did you choose me? Shows yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy just kind of looks up and goes, I think you chose yourself. <laughs> Was it the goblin saying last week? No, no. I think that guy would know. And she's pointing at your dad. Is it the <laughs> goblin thing last week? Oh, goblin thing. <laughs> Uh, it was definitely not the goblin thing last week. <laughs> Excuse me, what goblin? <laughs> oh, nobody even found out about that yet. I'm uh, just gonna be. I swear, Gimlet's laughing. <laughs> and we're just. Well, going remember, to slowly we're about a month back mm -hmm. from where you guys were last week. Oh no! no. So this was something in this the last. This is a totally <laughs> different. This is a different thing in the last. These week. are yeah. these are Fortnite events every, every two weeks. <laughs> Yes. This was in the lab type last week. <laughs> the lab. Yeah. Swear. Uh, <laughs> and Tajik nods, and he looks at the other, the other groupings, and he points at four of the other guilds, and they all group together. And then he looks at the remaining, uh, the remaining six. And it's the four of you, a Simic and a Demir. 
He takes it into consideration, and then he points to the four of you, and then he waves off the other two. These are your brothers and sisters now. This is your team. Keep them close. Keep them safe. And maybe we can fix this hellhole of a plane. You're gonna die. <laughs> and Tajik just does this thing. That's the first time I've actually respected you with anything. Oh, oh, you're about to so oh, you're about to beat me. <laughs> yes, brother. You expect me to work with a girl? Yes. I grab my, I grab my two into that. <laughs> I wander next to Dobrin. I'm like, so this is gonna be fun. Just <laughs> <laughs> this like summer camp. <laughs> expect you to respect each other, but I expect you to work together, to do what you are asked, so that Ravnica might be brought back to peace. I hope you believe it is in the best interest for the land. I suppose I can make this work. What is our mission? Right now, get to know each other. Team building. <laughs> Icebreakers. Trustful. <laughs> you can, just, you can literally that. see the pain on Guntar's face. Weird question. How does that. Arcadia sleep? <laughs> <laughs> does she sleep? Is she standing up? Does she like lay down? Does, does like the, the like human half flop forward? Does she like flop back against the rest of the horse? Or does she take up like a whole king size bed and lay on her side? And, like the whole horse takes up the whole thing? I, I can, I'm ready off track. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine it's like it's like a regular horse where you just kind of sit down, like the horse just kind of sits down, and then like arms crossed, like laying back like that. It's more like side mattress. <laughs> Coneheads. Cone it's like she backed into a little spot and like the, the padding's on either side. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, that just brings up the question of baby centaurs. Like human babies can't hold themselves up. <laughs> <laughs> how were centaurs born? I don't, I don't want to think that. <laughs> that is too deep for this game. We're getting off track. <laughs> off track, off track. That is too deep for this game. That is game. table talk. <laughs> Let's get back to the game. Yeah. Uh, I just gave myself a crisis now. Yeah. Uh, what is your name, good sir? I'm Guntar. And you? Dover. Dover. Bent this trunk in a trunk shake. <laughs> That, no, that that absolutely that is absolutely true. That that is a that is, uh, that is how that she that, would know how to do it. Yeah. And me, who spent the last fifty years unassociating with uh, Loxodons, looks at her ridiculously. You, you look at her and you or look at Dover and you just grab his trunk with, with your hand, hand like. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Hello to you. earlier again, Arcadia. Nice, nice to meet you. Arcadia. Hi, I'm Arcadia. Oh, of course. Man, woman, person, thing. What is your name? Arcadia. Works. Arcadia. Okay, I can remember that. Arcadia. <laughs> and you're Guntar. Guntar, yes. Yes, yes Guntar. Hello? Uh, I'm Ferris. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care much for you either. I have heard that already. You've taught me no. No, no. We will have to be in each other's acquaintance for an indeterminate know. period of time. I understand. You, you are, better walk in front of me. You are that horse lady that wants to fly. Are you not? <laughs> oh, you're the cow I 
scared the crap out of last week with the goblins. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I do have to say, though, it's interesting to see Loxodons in two different guilds. One such with nature as well. Of course, that is the Loxodon way. This is very unnatural. Um, right. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> the end time will come. Just not with what's happening now. That's unnatural. Anywho, yes, we I, all have I have our not, ways to achieve the peace. I have not uh, one of my own kind, if you will. I've uh, been on my own for quite some time now. Grew accustomed to different ways of living that uh, you city folk wouldn't really understand. Oh, but I can tell that just by no shit. <laughs> What is this word shit that you use? Is that, is that a, a You know when you when you have one of those uh, spicy I don't know what this so like when you eat, but when you eat something spicy and something that comes out of your rectum? That's what shit. Oh my. <laughs> Sounds positively terrible. And uh I wanted to make a Anka from behind you just kind of <clears throat> You could have gave me a little bit of heads up on this, you know? <laughs> Put it like I'm the asshole here. <laughs> well, you're certainly showing yourself to be the one. Hey, easy for you to say, Iron Legion. Oh, I go that route, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and barbarians. Tajik kind of like, but there's another kind of Thaumaturgy, but it's Ooh. more of a, more of like a clang, like a clang. An, like an, like a hammer on an anvil. Oh, good, he didn't hit me again. <laughs> he thought about it. <laughs> he thought about it. Uh, but he looks at at the at the now eight of you that are that are left, and he kind of has this thoughtful look and just strokes his chin. The eight of you will do. Now, as for what happens next, there's minor rattles that need to be quelled. There are Small disagreements that need to be absolved. There is a person of interest that our cause might find helpful. But what little we know of him isn't so much what we need from him, but what he needs from us. We're looking for a man called Mr. Taz. First name, mister. How would you spell this? Mr. Mr. Taz. First name yeah. Mr. Last name Taz. I'm running out Mr. And that is our show for the week. We're gonna take a short break, come back, we're gonna do our table talk segment, and then that'll be the week. So go use the restroom, refresh your drink, we'll be right back. We are shit. Woo! Oh, Is gonna push me. <laughs> dog, I love dogs. Uh, <laughs> hey everybody. Uh, so that was uh, that's this week's game. That was, I think, a lot. Well, I mean, we didn't have as many technical difficulties this week, so which is good. Which is good. Really good. good. M- maybe next week we'll actually start at the time we say. Yeah, maybe next week we can do this on time. Hey, 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 hey,
He's probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, traffic sucked today. It did. Like, it did. Like, I'm honest, like, and oh, Vegas is dead next week. Why? He didn't show up on time. <laughs> TPK. I mean, yeah. Don't show up. I kill your character. Gruesome. Off screen. In a plane. No, not an off screen death. That's the worst. With a tire iron. Oh, so, right. like, the audience will see the blood spatter come in, but they won't. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good yeah, so. How I do mean, centaurs have babies? I, How are they we, born? We're, we're not talking about that. that. We're not, no, no, no. <laughs> Moving beyond If that. someone asks that poor girl, how centaurs like, have babies, Dobrun is going to come in stopping. <laughs> Just Yay. wait. Like, do Uncle they, Dobrun. Are, <laughs> do they lay eggs or are they mammals? They're, they're, they're horses. horses. They're oh, mammals. mammals. <laughs> they, do they lay eggs? I would assume they're mammals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Centaur I don't know. Is How did Tajik get the lead? Is what I'm wondering. This little he th- reminds me of like a Cyclops over here with his little moral judgments. Like you need to learn discipline. Yeah, screw you. Kid. But at, at least they're not fighting him. They're like Phoenix. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just wait till uh, just wait till Act Three when I introduce the, uh, the, oh, the romance between Anka and Tajik. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Is there nothing sacred in this world? No. There is. Fan that would, that that would really, oh my that. god. That would really, like... Audience fan fiction is highly, highly approved. As long as it doesn't involve uh, centaur eggs or centaur babies. God, centaur eggs. <laughs> Let, let's if see you what your some weird weird minds come up with. Some weird magic to I make believe, that a thing. I believe that we have some talented viewership that can put some... Yeah, but you know there's gonna be the one that's the Varus Guntar one. Hey. Ship it. Hey. You know it's gonna happen. Hey. As long as I'm the dom, I'm fine. The cop no. and the barbarian. <laughs> o- OTP. <laughs> Hardcore OTP right there. Hey, you invited me to do this. <laughs> yeah. You gotta live the consequences. <laughs> I just have to point out how sad I am personally about these folded cards here. Yeah. I, I was sad it's too. It's okay. I felt like they're the most beautiful use of it. It's the least elephanty elephant in the room, but it's like every, the entire time I was looking at it, just like. Mm. I know. Well, okay. Then somebody get me like actual markers. Well, not now. I was They've already been sacrificed these, but these are a little to big. the, the mm-hmm. I'm like trying to track down these. I mean, I like those. Those would be Mm-hmm. Since you can't like, use those anymore, well, yeah, we might as well So, leave. like, for people who don't know, oh, yeah. hey, man. so, like, the stuff that comes in the pre-release, they come with these little dividers that, at least in the last two sets, have the the clan, or the guild, uh, guild seals on them, which would, they would work, I just need a way of, like, like, clamping them like having them, and I don't want to use, like, paper clips. Or well, you could, you, you could probably even, like, hot glue, like, one of those, like, the bee things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like these guys because I can just go like yeah, that. Yeah. Nice. I can just move them. No, we should definitely yeah. just keep using those now that they've already now been sacrificed. Now that they've been sacrificed to it. Hey. I know. I've, they I are now canon. I've, hey. I've committed blasphemy against our god king, Richard Garfield. So, <laughs> you know. That was just nagging me, annoying anyone in the audience. Just like, what? Is that? Is, what? Do it. I play with a lot of gates and EDH. And deal with a it, lot of other people with you guys' cradles and stuff aren't. So deal yeah. with it. Gates, are, gates are useful. They, they, they are useful. useful. I just yeah. make sure to use cards that I had like 8,000 copies of. So, there you go. You know, there you go. It's not like we sacrificed rares. They can't possibly ever be worth any money. They're commons. They're worth like a dime. So an interesting idea that I, I kind of popped off. It would be kind of cool if we ever find, uh, like, say we have to fight, a, 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 like, a, a shark to crab or something. Shark to crab? <laughs> shark to puss is a real thing. Yeah. And it you laugh. Your shark to crab is a card from this most recent set. And, uh, shout out to watch Shark to puss. Or shark to puss. Shark to puss. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I have a black like, card from the new set. Yes. You should do that. Good fun. Um, I got my butt kicked in the pre-release and draft last night. Anyway, a lot of fun. Gruel smash, 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 face, face, face. Um, but taking the taking the card of the enemy and like having that as the tracker. So if we ever have to fight like a, a shark to post, we use that. Like, oh. We literally have a shark to post. Yeah, we still have. Yeah. Look, that's what it looks like. 
Use your imagination. Uh, yep, yep, so these are, I, I have chat, I'm looking at it. Uh, yeah, so these are, are, are trackers. Uh, yeah, I mean, if we could get like 3D printed one with the ones with the with the symbols on them, that would be that would be great. I would like that. But, you know. Wink, wink, honk, honk. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so there. So now that we've kind of like been banded together, are we just going to be doing a bunch of like? It's fetch quests all the way down. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> fetch quests. Fetch quests. Everywhere. Is, so we're bringing that one guy back alive. So, uh, Alive? So I can't promise alive? that. <laughs> yes. Well, okay. I can promise to bring him back alive. Him, I'm not so sure. Come back Thanks. next week to find out. <laughs> <laughs> What's so, What's up? <laughs> do you guys have any, like, questions, comments, concerns? We're all gonna kill, like, these two are gonna kill each other, but. No, no, no. <laughs> no, they can't. We have they, no, no, they lasted a month without killing each other. Yes, we've made it some time. Who says we didn't use a res in there in the meantime? We're, we're well, level one. We can't afford that. You're not high enough level to have yeah. res. <laughs> we can't afford that. That's well, like, what, 1,500 in rare diamonds? Yeah, or it's, like it's a lot. Well, also, who says that you know, we haven't also severely injured each other? <laughs> I mean, it could have happened in the training ground. I could have like well, had an accident or something. He may have took in an arrow to the knee. That's why I can't go out adventuring in the Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> it, Sorry for those jokes. Not really. They must go to time real. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, I, I think it's going to be just a lot of trying to figure out how to mesh personalities. Well, I, I feel like that's the beautiful thing about Ravnica is it gives so much. Clash, but like, how does how do these mixing personalities, how does this boiling pot come together to actually get a goal done? I think it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that'll be. <laughs> I'm will, just kind of mad we don't have a Raptors Bard. Now that I heard that, I was like, oh. will, will there be a campaign to rename the elephant ear pastries? <laughs> 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 yes, we should put that up as a poll. <laughs> Dobro would be very invested in that. I, I want to go track down where you bought these. I want to go have a talk with that guy. <laughs> so That's I hear you're some, uh, some elephant ears, eh? If I, my, if I show up next week, my favorite donut shop is just burned to the ground. <laughs> you just see a burning tree. You just see Avatar, right? This Guntar! Acadia's just looking out from the tower like... Well, I guess he got there, huh? Oh, I guess he found that out. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Hey, Sparky. Go. <laughs> Sparky, go, 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 boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Shiny gems make the click clack noise. Shiny gems do make the click clack noise. Huh? Oh. <laughs> God, off the rails. So much. Well, I'm the same time. Well, I'm the same time. And it's. Sparky! <laughs> This time you decided to put it on a goblin because you knew a goblin wasn't gonna like get away. <laughs> Sparky, get back here. Sparky is like James Bond. Sparky is like, or the doctor. Just like it's, it's the name. <laughs> yeah, it's the alias referring to. That that that's why she was so concerned about Sparky actually knowing where no. she was. No, it's... you can't tell Sparky. Or the other Sparky. Or the other Sparky. <laughs> or that other Sparky. Hello, my name is Zed. No, you're Sparky. <laughs> I don't there care is what your name is. actually Sparky. My name is Zed. No, it's not. It's <laughs> Sparky. Sparky. Zed. Sparky. Zed. Sparky. Zed. I don't care. <laughs> Bolt. I'm going to cast a gesture. Your name is Sparky. Zed. <laughs> Damn, this guy rolls. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hear me out. Just hear me out. Oh, oh. Your name is Sparky. Zed then. <laughs> I got an idea. Last idea. Your name is Zed then. 
Sam Dan. <laughs> Sounds like he likes it. <laughs> All right, on the count of three. I mean, say, if, okay, if you've watched or if you've listened to the Adventure Zone, yeah. Davenport. Yeah. Davenport. <laughs> Davenport. Davenport. Hello. Davenport. I've gone through so many Sparkies. I've learned not to name them beyond Sparky. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Sparkies now obligatorily have to wear things to shield them from fire causing. <laughs> just just imagine not. a goblin like a full like bomb squad bomb defusal suit. Hazmat. <laughs> All right, we're just testing clunk, home repul- repulsor number two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just like one person, like holy I think like, a count we do need to keep track of is Dobrin old man, uh, old man allegories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like keep track of how many times back in my day, Sean. Yeah, only <laughs> ten years on here. Like, like, bro, like I'm ten years literally your age. We go to the same college. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember when I was young. Dude, we went to high school together. <laughs> That's a really long high school. I remember when I was your age. Dude, we were born like four months apart. Yeah. <laughs> four years. I remember when I was your age. You're three years younger than me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't I rob a warehouse with you like suspiciously 11 years ago? <laughs> no. I haven't been in the city for quite some time. <laughs> Has it been 11 years? No, the last time I went out, I uh, might have. Oh, so it was you. No, it was 20 something years ago. Don't worry about it. All of a sudden we find it. out Dobrin is actually like a name that was given to him when he switched guilds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That happens a lot. Yeah. Um, New life. Uh, I think three of us had Selesnian kind of hair. Or no, two of us had Selesnian heritage. Uh, yep. Us two. Yep. Um, you yeah. will come to find out more about that later, viewers. <laughs> Tune in next week. Don't tell mom. <laughs> yeah, I, I was wa- I was really wondering how you were how you were gonna react to that. That was good. That, that was, was good. good. I like that. I like that. I was, I was Hi, very that what part. are you doing here? Hi, Dad. Meet my friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's the strangest thing I ever saw. Is like an instant, an instant centaur is. Looking at the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, cops here! <laughs> the cops. <laughs> and Boros is like, what? Yeah, we're over here. No, dad! Dad cops! Oh, even worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, uh, please stay safe and uh, just walk towards the door. Uh, exit that way. Uh, just take a much down the hallway. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful evening. <laughs> so is everyone kind of... What's Sedona's alignment again? Like, you're chaotic neutral. Lawful good. I am chaotic. Okay. Pretty sure neutral? I gave you my thing? Chaotic yeah, neutral. Now I'm neutral. I'm chaotic. Okay, so Dobrin will be literally holier than everyone except for Theris. Because you're <laughs> neutral. Well, good. No, he's just neutral, actually. I accidentally just wrote true neutral, so. <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> That's a leeway. Go ahead. Chaos. Again, I should have gone chaotic good. Then I really could have been dread. But in Dogren's like quest to be better, he's just gonna be like strayed by is it pretension. It does not matter if it is good or evil, whatever is the true <laughs> true modern. Whatever is the is the uh, obnoxiously centrist. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> I'm like, you guys I'm this does not gel. I'm just gonna go jump out this window parachute. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's good or evil. I'm just on the side that's always winning. <laughs> well, the law changed. I well, guess. Well, that's more of a uh, well. I mean, chaotic neutral is it's whatever doesn't directly benefit me, but still keeps me good. No, chaotic neutral is whatever benefits me best. Again, I need to go chaotic and control from dread. Be dread. Just gonna flip. We're all just gonna flip roles. Yeah, we're halfway just through this. Halfway through our roles are all gonna change so oh. hardcore. I mean, I, I do just need to point out that all my characters, for whoever they are going to be, will be a cop. Well, this is D and D. 
character grows. <laughs> Any character that I've ever made. Who's talking about Spanish? <laughs> no, who's talking about the way of peace becomes a monk. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, he rejoins Selesnia. It's just like. Or, or, <laughs> I don't know. I like that. Smash. <laughs> rejoins Selesnia as a monk. <laughs> Oh my god. I, I, I have finally reached learned how to fly. I would like Join to not, the Pegasi Guard like in <laughs> Zen Rage. <laughs> so raging. You are I'm Zen, yeah. I, I am. <laughs> you're, you're, raging, you're raging so hard. You have reached perfect Zen. And yeah. Bruce Banner. Yeah. So right. I would teach the Hulk. Yeah. He's only thing for me. <laughs> so, anybody have any like favorite moments? Or I liked when I was about to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> Is, it was the Woody Wind survey says. Uh, it's like a roll right now. I, I, what I really enjoyed personally was I liked kind of how everybody had their their moment to their self and like kind of how that person's journey, like Dobrin's experience in getting here is going to be much different from all of ours, or, and especially the other yeah. boxers on the group, so it's, I, I kind of enjoyed seeing what's going to, what's going to force us two to actually play nice, because we are so drastically different. Right, right. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Dadger. He's gonna I'm be, pretty sure it's going to be Dadger. He's going to keep you in line. <laughs> he has no say over me. So. Brother! I'm pretty sure it's going to be Dadger. It's going to be like, all right, boys, play nice. Again, I, it's like... It's like stepdad talking to me. I don't care. <laughs> it's like, I don't care, man. That's all I need. All right, excuse me. Arcadia, what was your Um, It's either it was the dad reveal mm -hmm. or that was. <laughs> Daughter. Oh, hi, dad. <laughs> and you won your dad. I'm a deep crap. <laughs> <laughs> That was once really fun, and then, like you said, the individual character growth, really getting to know each character, that was cool. I think just the initial interactions between the group was good. Yeah. Actually, like, learning about, like, oh, this is what we were all doing before, you know, everything. Yeah, and I really wanted you guys, I know last week we were kind of put under pressure, and I just kind of, we just kind of, like, dropped you into the start of the story without telling you, like, how you got together, so I figured... This week would be good to do that. Like, have a little bit of a flashback before we move on. Move on. Definitely Which, helps orient. Yeah, because you're going in like, how do I know you? Why do I get trust you? I have no sense of why I should trust. How did you even lose this guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, seriously, how did you lose? <laughs> if I can't trust him, how, what makes you think I can trust you? Well, your employer trusts us, so... I don't trust our employers as far as I can prove that. Straight check. I don't know, he trusts, he trusts. I him. trust my, I trust my All mother. right, my yeah. guild leader in the uh, Dragon Court is you, Elick. You'll come, you'll come to more learn. I have a, I have a really strong bond with, with my uh, advocate. She might have, uh, Help the brother survive. I don't know. <laughs> and, and I mean, I mean, my my advocate is basically my brother. Wake up. Like, <laughs> like, I just think of them as Peralta and Boyle. Yes. Can you be Boyle? No, I'm a Peralta. I know you want to be Peralta. That's why you're Peralta. That's why you're Boyle. Super cop. He's the cop that can't be stopped. Oh my God! A Beverly Hills cop reference? Jesus. No, that's uh, that's that's, no, that no. that's uh, hot fuzz. That's a hot oh, fuzz. Oh yes, me when, and when he, they're, 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 yeah, uh, they're in the yeah, they're in the they in the corner store, and uh, oh. Nick Frost has the has the Jackie Chan Super Cop DVD. He's I gotta watch Hot Fuzz tonight. The sure cop that. who can't be stopped. <laughs> well, because it's because I only say that because I remember from Beverly Hills Cop because he's <laughs> Axel Foley is talking about how the two detectives are super cops. Oh, did you know that scene? A little fun fact, interesting. That was the first, first time scene he had coffee. Had coffee, yeah, yeah. 
Fun fact, history buff. No, it was the grocery store that said that. Yeah, that was super cop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not the corner store. No, that's where the store. Yes. It was kind of fun bring it bring it back. But it was kind of fun seeing all the characters. Like I don't think I as a player or Dobrin as a character would have understood the I'm a cop situation over there <laughs> as much as that now happened. Like, oh you are a cop. Oh yeah. good to know. Well, just I just like lock goblins out windows at him all day. And to have that visceral experience. <laughs> I just hear a goblin my, splat on the My advocate, my trusted <sighs> member in the Again. guild, be the father of someone I'm about to have to like spend a lot of time with. Yeah. Like, I'm going to feel some weird like also father figure. Like it's going to get pretty ridiculous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you not friends? write back to my dad about the crap we do? <laughs> Well, and like part of this, I did want like a lot of, a lot of like the world building to be more of, hey, there's this kind of secret, pseudo secret society, mm -hmm. but also it's made up of like everyone, mm -hmm. like there are people from everywhere in this, like it's not just you. Yeah. But it's technically good to know where my magic came from. The dad's an arcane archer. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it, but yeah. yeah. I don't know my family. <laughs> Except for everything you said, I've made a Guntar's proof of. Good. 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 There you go. We're starting to get up. <laughs> yeah. The day and night walks it on, it's just like. I, I, I love that Unintentionally dichotomy. opposite character. That, that, I, that dichotomy is just, it, it's great. I, mm -hmm. I love it. The trunk, and I'm just like, shake with my hand. Well, the so thing I really good. like is that you all have, you do have a lot of similarities that cross the table, mm -hmm. but there are, like, your differences also set such a stark contrast to all that, too. Which is honestly really, really cool. Which I, I really like, especially as a DM. Much excite. So then, I mean, what do you guys want to get out of this? Consistency. Uh, sto I mean, storyline. Consistency. <laughs> Consistency, yeah, that makes I mean. <laughs> But like in game, what do you oh, guys in want? Game. In so game, I'm guys... enjoying like because I can't afford magic right now. I'm enjoying learning about Ravnica like without having to just go learn about it through Wikipedia. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's a, that's a really nice. good resource too. Because I mean, before Guildmaster's Guide came out, when I knew it had been announced, I did a lot of a lot of reading on on the Magic Wiki just to kind of yeah get in the headspace and know like how the clans act or act how the guilds actually, yeah, yeah um, the lore in magic is it is so deep, yeah, it is five deep. Five I deep. enjoy getting to do like the fifth, getting to explore the uniqueness of fifth edition, because I'm just in, an, I've been in several three five games mm -hmm. where it's straight battles and yeah. like mostly violent <laughs> interactions with other people, and a lot of the DM throwing you for like this really pedantic loop. Where you're like, I want to do this. Oh no, that's a prismatic wall. Crap. You know, like we're just and getting that's, and that's, toned half the as, time. As a DM, like I want to give you guys the opportunity to do what you guys want to do. Like, yeah, there's there's gonna be you know there's an end game to everything. Like this, this is season one. There's gonna be like a definite story arc to this. So I'm gonna need. Like, like there's good, so like, I'll let you go off the rails, but it's all gonna come back to the same spot. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? Having the character actually have growth and having a new character I can tell stories about. Yeah, because you've been telling that same 3-5 story for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm, I need a new character. Or one that isn't the same character, just remodeled. Yeah. I'm just happy to play. I'm just happy to be here. I am just happy to be here because again, this is the first time I've really gotten deep into D and D stuff. So yeah, nice. uh, he knows. I don't know. I might be the most 
avid of Magic players at the table. Um, so just really being able to involve how much lore there is that I already know and having to step back from that and make the lore of my or his own and being a part of that, I feel like is really awesome. Um, I also have to make sure I realize that I'm not set like where we are in the story of Magic right now. So like kind of yeah to like come back a little bit. So like so here's the thing with that. Uh, so they oh, all of the stuff up unto it's Dragon's Maze, right? Well, Dragon's Maze ended with Jace becoming the Guild Pack. Okay. And then there was cons, dragons, Innistrad, like all those yeah. happened. And then Origins happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. somewhere in there, cons, dragons, dragon's maze, return to Ravnica, all that happened inside of like where we are now mm -hmm. in in Magic yeah. and Origins, which yeah. was five years ago. Uh, it was about. Five years ago, yeah. it was a little when I started getting back into magic. Yeah, so because we had origin, like story wise, we had Origins, mm -hmm. Zendikar, mm -hmm. Gatewatch, mm -hmm. Innistrad, mm -hmm. Eldritch Moon, mm -hmm. uh, Kaladesh, Aether Revolt, yep. uh, Amonkhet, Amonkhet Des Hour. Hour of Destruction, Devastation, yeah. Very Hour of Devastation, Ixalan. Yep. Rivals, rivals, Dominaria, and now we're in Ravnica. Yep. So that's to put it in perspective. Kaladesh is where I stopped. Yeah. Yeah. So, same. And that was a year and a half ago, like or mm -hmm. two and a half years ago. So there's been a lot of stuff that's happened, but in the same time, all the other stuff that's happened in MTG lore has also happened in that time frame. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of lore. Mm -hmm. So the way that we're like talking about it is that like at least in this game is where we get to the start of this block in MTG which is uh, Ravnica Alliance uh, it is or Guilds of Ravnica Guilds of Ravnica yeah. is the one is, that was is, last one yeah last one and the newest last one, one is yeah. Ravnica so, Legion so. yeah so Guilds of Ravnica uh, is where our game starts is with Guilds of Ravnica. Okay. Uh, everything beyond that is WotC doing whatever they want, mm -hmm. us doing whatever the hell we want. Like, we might, we, I mean, we'll go to different places that that are in the MTG lore. We might go to Kaladesh. We might go to Zendikar. We might, you know. Dude, if we go to Tark, if we go to Tark here, I might come back. <laughs> yeah, you won't come back from Tark I, I might be stuck. I might, you might, be, you might be see me leading the, uh, the Mardu Horde. If we go, <laughs> if we go to Innistrad, I'm just gonna be like, "Hi, Sauron. <laughs> Hi, Thorin. You are a badass. He will hate you. Uh, I don't know. hate me, but I don't care because I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you see him, I'm be like, "He's a cop. Don't trust him. He's a cop." <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there's all sorts of possibilities that uh, that we'll we'll get to do um, with this game. It's almost like we play like a whole multiverse we could explore. So. There, I mean. There, there really is. There really is. There's the, there's the planes, mm -hmm. but then there's also, I mean, Eberron, the Forgotten Realm. There's so much. There's so much. Like, it would be stupid weird. Like, the only person who would be at home in the Forgotten Realms would be that guy. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no centaurs in the Forgotten Realm. There, there are centaurs, but they're not. They're monsters. They're yeah. Not centaurs. There are no loxodons. Yeah. Right. In in the Forgotten Realm, that's what mm -hmm. makes it even weirder. Like that, you know, having those fish out of water moments would be really cool to have. Where I like try to calm down all the elves from all the loxodons in the center. It's like, no, please, no. That's Nissa right there. Just sitting there like, like friggin' uh, <laughs> yeah, in the like, Jurassic World. <laughs> Close yeah. The gate. So. Yeah, I think that's. I think we're good for next week. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Sweet. Well, uh, one last question. Yeah. Uh, are we gonna pick up, kind of, like pick back up where the, where the setting of the first 
We're at so, this like armor shop. Yeah. Yep. So you guys, uh, where we'll pick up next week is on Foundry Street. Okay. Just need to try to disguise. So the if you haven't seen episode one and kind of know where we need to be, yeah, go back, uh, go back in the archives here and uh, and take a look at that episode that one. Uh, kind of get to know where we are. Uh, get to know our players a little bit better. Today, you got to know our characters a little better. Mm -hmm. uh, Rivet City Limited, you can find on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, obviously, since you're here. Uh, oh, thank you. You can find me at Didact Gaming on the, on the tweet source. Uh, we had a huge event with Rivet City Limited doing the Keyforge uh, Invitational, Rivet City Limited Invitational. We played 10 hours of Keyforge. That was a long day. That was a lot of Keyforge. It was a lot of fun, though. Richard Garfield game. Richard Garfield game, also like magic. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was a lot of fun. That is also in the, uh, in the channel. You guys can check that out. Uh, otherwise, that's all we got for this week. Uh, bullet time will be back next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. This is the last time that we're changing times and days. So it's going to be Tuesday, 7 o'clock, Twitch, right here. I yeah. I ran out of chops. <laughs> yeah, you ran out of chops. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Ow. It will be here <laughs> the pencil. <laughs> Nate will be here before any of us are here. Yeah, Nate, Nate will be here so early. So early. Chase away all the technical gremlins. So early. That, that means I just said to chase the worm. I mean, that too. Play us out, keyboard cat. Bungo cat. <laughs>